Hey, everybody. I am here with one of my amazing clients, Elle Hart, and I am so excited to do a quick, short video testimony just based off of our work together. Elle, thank you so much for agreeing to hop on video with me. I know sometimes we want to say things about the people we work with, and I'm so thrilled that you were willing to, to share your, your, your thoughts and process. Absolutely. All right. So Elle and I have been working together in my one-to-one -one, six month attract and stand out program. And we just wrapped up, I think it was like two weeks ago. Elle, I'd love for you just to kind of take us back when you think about when you first reached out and scheduled that clarity call with me to just discuss and kind of get curious what it might look like to go through my program. What were some things that were going on for you were coming up at that time? I was just feeling stuck. I had felt like I had been doing all of this work, but I was on a hamster wheel. I wasn't getting, I wasn't going anywhere forward with it. I wasn't seeing progress. You know, I think that it's important to have another perspective when you're putting your message out there and when you're telling your story or trying to tell your story, because we know what we do as business owners, but we have to realize that that message isn't always conveyed in a way that other people understand exactly what we do too. So that's where it was really beneficial um, for me to work with you to go through those processes. Yeah. I love that you bring that up. I think the, the hardest part about being a business owner is we're like, oh, I've got this. I'm so good at what I do. I know how to help people. And then we go out into the world and we start talking about the work that we're doing. And sometimes we overshare, we say too much, we talk in jargon <laughs> in a ways that people are like, exactly. And they're like, oh, that sounds cool. I'm going to go to the bathroom and they're like trying to escape. They're like, I don't know what you just said, but it sounds great. And I don't know what to do from here. <laughs> right, right. We don't use the words that our ideal client would use. We use our professional words and we, we try to make ourselves feel more valuable by sounding, you know, professional as we're, instead of just connecting and using, like I said, the words that our clients would be using. It's funny because we all go through this process. Every every single person I talk to, even myself included, I remember two years into my business realizing, holy crap, nobody understands what the heck it is that I do exactly. They kind of have an idea, but I wasn't clear enough to where I was getting referrals sent over because the conversations were making people go, ooh, I know somebody you need to connect with. And they weren't saying like, oh, I need help with this. They're like, it sounds cool. I kind of get the idea, but like there was just that little bit left over. It's funny how that happens so often to so many people. I'm glad that we were able to get you over that hump. I would love to hear a little bit about like, as we worked together over the past six months, like what were some things that stood out for you during the six months, anything like during the program that you want to share about? Well, I think you would probably agree that if we had to sum up our working together in one word, it would be succinct. <laughs> <laughs> How many times that I, I did the work that, you know, we had our meeting and you're like, okay, this is, you know, what you should work on now. And I would go through and I would do it. And that it was like, that's great on the right track, but too much, too much. We need to make that more succinct. And that was, um, one of my biggest struggles coming into it. And it was also one of my biggest struggles while we were working together, trying to learn how to get to that succinct. And I had some big breakthroughs on going back through my story as to how I even fell into this business that I'm doing. And, you know, going through the processes that you have set up also, you know, how we feel about ourselves personally, how that shows up and what we're doing professionally too. And learning how to work through some of those barriers um, was a huge milestone for me. Definitely. And and you were so right. Like when you were saying the word succinct, I remember that was a word that I, I feel like I was overusing <laughs> it with you, but I was like, you're so great with communication and you have such a great job of just, you know, having conversations and sharing your story and your messaging and finding that place where, okay, like this is great, but let's make it really clear and short and succinct so people can go, Ooh, tell me more. And then you could dive more into that conversation. So I love that you've been able to really clarify some of that message and bring it in where it's succinct to start, but then 
able once people start nodding their head or leaning in, like you could continue the conversation from there and really share more in those places. When you think about like the framework we went through for attract and stand out, like we talked about building your brand, where we got into your niche, your ideal clients, your messaging, your story, your offer. And then we went into visibility, putting yourself out there, making sure that you're doing the type of work that you love to do in a way that lights you up. And really it was calling in those dream clients. And then like the last part, as we got into like the sales process and creating some of those standard operating platforms and like your visibility strategy going forward, which of those do you think was like the most impactful for you? Probably more like the, the visibility and how and where I'm going to put myself out there um, in terms of a way that works for me. You know, we have all of the marketing systems out there. And of course, everybody's all into social media and everything that we need to do for that, which is important. But I found through working together that I really realized that I connect best and share my message most clearly through just organic conversation. And so one of the ways that I've started doing it is by guesting on podcasts. And so you gave me, you know, the pitch script to do, and then learning about how to even get into that guesting on podcast world. And since then, I've, I've been doing quite a few of them. And I do find that that's more natural for me than try to keep up with all the social media trends. <laughs> you know, I just want to have like natural conversations with people and that's what works the best for me. And it's one of your strengths, which is awesome. Right. Like that's exactly. How you, that's how you support your clients is with their strengths. And that's one of yours, like identifying that those organic conversations were really like the leading force in getting you in front of people and then getting clients too, because I know you've had some recent success with those podcast interviews where people are like, oh, this is great, Elle. Like, I want to work with you based off of them hearing you on these podcasts where you can just have an organic conversation, connect with people and just be your true self, which I love. Right. Yeah, exactly. And the other thing that's helpful too is, you know, how, and this is one of the things that drew me to you before we even started working together, when I found you on um, one of the business boosters on Hera Hub, was the idea of, I'm so passionate about what I do that when something comes to mind, I feel like I immediately needed to post about it and get it out there. I'm on so many different platforms and I was trying to do too many things. And this one, I was talking about this, but then that one, I was talking about that and felt like I, I didn't have any rhyme or reason or system to it. And I, I love the idea of how you say, you know, create one piece of content and then share that among everything else, you know? And so that's something that I've really been working on more and more. Um, I think some of the scheduling systems might help me too, because I can still write what I want to write, but I don't necessarily have to post it that day. <laughs> I can still get it out of me, but I can hold on to it and schedule it, you know, at a time later. And then that way I can go back to it and say, okay, now I'm going to write my newsletter on this. I'm going to create a couple of social media posts on, based on this and connect it all together so that there's more of a succinct <laughs> message to what I'm putting out there instead of just blah, 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 you know, everywhere. So. And it, keep, it keeps you in a situation too, where you're able to be more consistent because even though we right. are inspired with social media posts, occasionally, like we get that inspiration. Some There's some weeks where we just don't, or at least I'll talk for myself. Like there's some weeks where I just don't have it. And if I like even sitting down to write my newsletter, like I have to be in the right mind frame and I have to have something I want to share. And if it's a topic that doesn't connecting with me, even if it's something that I've had on my, you know, on my calendar for the past 90 days, and I knew I was going to talk about it, if it wasn't what was lighting me up, it's hard to write in those moments. So when I have, when I'm a little right. bit ahead of schedule, it takes that pressure off of, oh my gosh, I have to write content right this minute because I need to, you know, I'm committed to emailing my newsletter list or sharing on social or whatever those different pieces are. So it just gives exactly. that ability to slow things down, get more in a rhythm that allows right. you to open your business when you want to, how you want to. So right, exactly. So if somebody was sitting on the fence right now and going, well, I really want to work with Darlene, but I'm, you know, I'm a little bit nervous to invest or I'm just not hundred percent sure. What would you say to them? <laughs> I would tell them that um, it's a, just a very helpful process to go through and that you bring things to the table that you don't necessarily think of yourself. And again, a perspective of 
somebody's business that they don't see themselves because you're the one that's in it. You know, we're a lot of us are solopreneurs and we're used to doing everything ourselves, but we have to realize that our business, what we do is what we're good at. The marketing and the messaging and things like that might not, if that's not your business, then that's going to be, you know, where you get um, hung up and where you get stuck. And so to have somebody like you who that's your profession and that's what you do, help us through those things is it's necessary. We can't do it all and do it all effectively. And I think a lot of us solopreneurs think that's what we need to do is, is do it all ourselves. And, you know, you're going to get to the point where you're going to realize that I might be like, like physically doing it, but it's not getting me where I want to be. We need professionals like you to help us go through the process and think of things and look at things and approach things and do things that we may not have even known about or realized ourselves. You bring things to the table that I wouldn't have thought about before. So, yeah. yeah and I, I see that even in my business when I'm not working with a coach versus when I am working with a coach, like there's just times where I'm like, I, if I don't have someone to bounce an idea off of or someone to like, you know, share my thoughts and like, have a, like find the pieces that I need to really work on and focus on. Like I can get distracted really easy. So <laughs> I appreciate you mentioning that. Yeah. Like we think our ideas are probably like, you know, good or we're not sure, but we're going to go with it. And you can spend all this time and energy into that idea and then come to find out it's falling flat and it's not really serving you or, or your clients at all but you've put all of this <laughs> invested all this. Whereas, you know, when I could talk to you about things, I'm like, what about this? I'm thinking about this. You know, we could talk through it together and um, your perspective always helped, you know, and just also the fact that I could box you when something came to mind and I could reach out to you and, and get a response. Um, that was always helpful to me as well. Um, before I went down that rabbit hole of spending all my time and energy on something that's like, mm, you're not quite there yet, or that, you know, that might have worked in the past, but it doesn't necessarily work anymore or whatever it might have been. So, yeah, I know that all of my clients say, like, thank goodness I have Voxer and the ability to email in between because I need more than just coaching sessions. Like, there's always like those little questions that come up in between or, right. Or like you were saying, like you start thinking about something and you're like, wait, before I get too far, let me check in with Darlene real quick and see if I should even continue down this rabbit hole. Because if I get too far down, it's going to be really hard to come back up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I love that. Well, Elle, it's been such a pleasure working with you. And I know that we're not done because I always stay connected with my clients and it's just been an honor to watch you grow and shift. And I know that you have some massive momentum going right now and I cannot wait to see where it takes you. So thank you so much for taking time to share. Absolutely. Thank you. And thank you for everything that you helped me through. I really appreciate it. You're so welcome.